Hello everyone, welcome to another Asus Transformer Prime video. This is an applications video, but it is not a great applications video because this is a very sneak peek uh, preview look at an application that is not available on the Google Marketplace yet. Uh, I came across it on a forum, I've downloaded it, and I can now show you the application that it is. And it is, if I zoom in very closely, an application that's uh, been very popular on the iPad and the iPhone, Flipboard. It has finally arrived on the Android. Again, don't ask me how, uh, there's just a post on a forum, and I've got the, app, the um, application, and I'll give you a link to the application in this video as well. So we'll get straight into it. I haven't used it very much, so it's not going to be a very structured um, review of it. I'm just going to see how it works on the Asus Transformer Prime. So we'll go straight into the application. I did have a quick play on it, I must actually say, uh, <clears throat> to quickly find out how it works. And one of the things that I um, realised very quickly is that I don't think this is tablet optimised yet for the um, tablet operating system of Android, because as you can see it seems to be locked in a uh, different mode, a um, portrait mode instead of landscape, and I actually had to download another app uh, which I'll show you in another video, uh, which is a thing called Ultra um, Rotation Lock, which uh, managed to change my rotation lock to um, the landscape one that you see here after doing a quick uh, setting change. I've changed it to Forced Rotation Lock, which means that it's forced now into landscape. And if I uh, show you quickly the application, you will see that uh, it doesn't look too bad actually in the tablet form when you're looking at the main uh, screen. But if I actually go into one of the um, news stories, you'll see that the text, as usual, it goes all across the page. There's no menus anywhere. It's just a big block of text and it's uh, not very readable. Well, it is readable, but it's just not a, a very... A, a very useful way of reading an article, but I can swipe as you can see from news story to news story, but it doesn't look like the iPad one in that it looks like a newspaper almost on the iPad one. So definitely not optimised too well for the tablet one yet. I can of course detach it from uh, the keyboard dock and then if I turn it um, portrait, if I haven't screwed this up too much, there we are. So, it did uh, rotate for me. As you can see now, it does look a bit better, but it does just look like a big smartphone application, if that makes any sense. It doesn't look as if it's uh, really usable on a tablet. But let, anyway, let's have a look at a, a new story. So we have this one here on technology, and if I press into it, it will load, presumably, the article. But I'm not sure entirely what it's doing here. So, oh, there it, is. it has loaded up. As you can see, the text is very big, so it's very readable. Um, <coughs> but... It's just big text on a big screen rather than any sort of menus on either side uh, making it more useful. But I do like this swipe action. And as you can see, uh, even though it doesn't look as though it's um, ready for the tablet yet, it does actually function very well. It's very, it doesn't seem, to be, doesn't seem to be buggy in any way. It's just not very optimised for tablets. Let's go back and uh, go to the main stories again. So uh, that's the cover story. If I just press on there, we'll see what happens. Brings up the main cover story which is a headline, and if I move to another one, I have an X-Web, which seems to have a story, and then I press into it, and it quickly went into that story. And on this one, for some reason, it scrolls. So I'm not 100% sure uh, how uh, Spring uh, Flipboard works. Uh, I don't know why one's a swipe action and one is a um, scrolling action, maybe because this is an R RSS feed. Uh, but nonetheless, that seemed to work fine. Let's see if I can get another new story. I want to try and find one which is actually going to load up rather than the new story. That's another one that's a... That was just a normal story. S on some examples, but unfortunately I'm not having much luck here, on some examples it actually loads up the um, website. And then we sort of get into some problems when we do that. This I've got to press on the headline to actually so because if I press it down here, it kind of gives me some tweet options. Uh, I guess that's because that is people reacting to the new story. But all of these seem to be loading up into a nice flip bob. So I was trying to find a criticism for this, 
but I've been unable to do so. Loaded up a tweet um, news feed here, which uh, doesn't work quite that well because it just seems to hack off most of the tweet itself. And then when I press on it, ah, here's an example, thank you. So what's happened here is I've had a news feed story and I press on it and it's loaded it into the website, which would be fine, however, I can't zoom, uh, I can't use a pinch to zoom, presumably because it's still in the Flipboard app and it doesn't have the pinch to zoom option, I think. When it's on a smartphone, yes, you can double tap, which would then take you to the article, so then you can read it, which is okay, but it's fairly clunky, uh, clunky I'm sure you'll admit. I'll have to double tap to zoom back out. So that's an example of where you have a feed, but it just goes straight into the web page, and it's not too usable because that text is pretty pretty difficult to read on this size tablet. So, in short summary of this very quick look at Flipboard, I will say that I am excited about the application coming to Android, but it's not ready to use on a tablet yet. But uh, by all means, give it a go and see if you uh, enjoy it more. Um, just see if I can find out any more things. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. It does work okay, and I suppose there is a lot of support for if I do a search. So if I do tech and science, now you can see that I can flip through um, a plethora of options. So if I do a plus on apps added to my Flipboard, so now hopefully I go back to my original Flipboard, I should see somewhere, here we are, apps. If I press on that, now we can get some good stories on apps, which is what I was after. Although that looks like a hardware uh, phone accessory review, review. So there's plenty of content. Uh, I'm not quite sure how to navigate my way around it, but I've never used this application before. But um, yeah, Flipboard is out. Uh, I would probably recommend not using this at the moment. I would still say that. Um, News Republic and Appy Geep are, are the, the superior applications uh, on the tablet. Um, however, I think this does work very well on a Android smartphone. And I will show you another video uh, of how it looks on an Android smartphone. It looks much more uh, pleasing to the eye because this is just basically big pictures, big text on a big screen. Uh, it's not really tablet optimised. Okay, um, like I say, it was a bit of a choppy... Um, a look of it at Flipboard. I hope you found it useful in some ways. If you do have any questions, please ask me and I'll try and find out the answers and maybe do a proper video in the future. Maybe when uh, the app is officially re released and there's a tablet version of it for Android. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you again soon in a, another video.